So the question is, why are some elephants or why are captive elephants not suitable for reintroduction into the wild? It's actually not so straightforward as captive elephants not being suitable for release. There's a lot of factors to include in because there actually are some captive elephants that are being released and reintroduced into parts of Africa in, with extraordinary success. Uh, there's a lot of factors to consider. One of them is available space. Two is a compatible herd. Um, and three is going to be the welfare of each individual. A lot of what we're dealing with in South America, and we talked about this years ago before even starting Elephant Sanctuary Brazil, is is there a possibility we could move elephants back to Asia, move them into a natural habitat in Asia where they could simply manage in a true natural habitat within their natural home range? And the factors, the principal factor that stopped us from doing that was the chronic compromise of captivity that exists with this aging population. If the population was in their young 20s or 30s, we could be having a totally different conversation about what those possibilities are. But because what we're dealing with here are the vast majority of the elephants are over 45 years old, uh, there are a few that are under 40, but not very many. And what we're dealing with is 50 years of compromise, 50 years of negligence, 50 years of improper diet. Uh, so you have osteomyelitis, you have arthritis issues, you have uh, 50 years of isolation and solitary living. And all of those become inhib inhibitive to try to create a compatible herd that does not need daily care for their survival. If the elephants were younger and better health, again, we could have a different conversation about this. But what we're dealing with right now that's not the case. Uh, so it's not so straightforward as captive elephants not being able to be released. It's going to be much more individual. It's going to be age related. It's going to be uh, the compromise, the physical, uh, physical, psychological and emotional compromise of years of captivity and also available space to be able to do so, which those two elements again are different for African versus Asian elephants.